Y'all already know, man. We back after a long weekend of this drive. Um, how y'all done? How y'all done it, man? You know what I'm saying? What's up, the Steeler Nation? I hope everybody out there doing good. I hope everybody was excited with what the Steelers did this weekend in the draft. Um, and that's what we here for. I'm gonna give y'all my draft review, man. Shit, I'm excited. I think we did pretty damn good. A lot of people wouldn't say so because we took some risk. But those were risks that should definitely lead to rewards, you know. Um, if I had to draft, I mean, if I had to draft, if I had to give our draft a grade, I say we did either a B plus or an A minus. Uh, we're going to get right into the first pick. Obviously, we picked Najee Harris. I mean, this was a no-brainer. Everybody wanted Najee Harris. Some people wanted Lyman. I said we should have went Lyman first, but when the pick happened, I was thinking, like, you know, we do need a running back. What if Najee isn't there? Travis Etienne went right after him. What if he wasn't there? Um, guys like Michael Carter and Javante Williams and um, Trey Sermon. Trey Sermon actually went right after our second pick, or he went before our second pick, I think. So what if he wasn't there? Like, what if guys like that wasn't there? So I see why we need a running back. Um, why not go get the best one in the league? Some, like, in the draft, it's talents that you can't pass up on. Like, if a talent is right there like that, staring you in your eye, it's just some talents you can't, you can't pass up on. That's the same thing that happened to us in the second round, which we're going to lead up to. But Najee Harris is a Pittsburgh Steelers man. I was excited. Um, I, I'm still excited. I think he's going to be at least a top five rusher. Not, in, not instantly coming in. Probably, like, give him, like, his second, third year. But I think Najee Harris will change this whole offense around. Hopefully, it'll change Big Ben. He won't have to throw the ball at least 50 to 40 times a game, you know. Um, hopefully, Najee Harris will take some snaps, get a lot of yardage, have Ben, you know, just sit back and cool a little bit. Maybe he'll throw 25 to 30 times a game, maybe 35, depending on how the game's going. You know what I'm saying? Um, as for our second-round pick, this was a surprise. This was a risk. But it's a risk that I think will turn into a reward, you know. Um, we picked the second best tight end in the draft, Pat Fryermuth. Um, not too much I can say about him. He didn't play this year. He set out because of COVID. But even though he set out, he was still the second best tight end. This is uh, one of them situations where it's like, if a talent's right there, you can't pass up on it, you know. Like, you, um, you kind of got to take that, you know. Now... This is how I would have played it out. We pick an old lineman because it was guys there. Quentin Myers was there. Creed Humphrey was there. Like, it, there was guys there. Um, this is how I would have played it out. I would have picked either one of them going into the third. I probably would have picked either a corner or um, probably a corner or a linebacker maybe. Uh, fourth, I would have picked the, I would have picked Tommy Trumbull if he was still there and all that. But he went to Carolina, I believe. But, yeah. Overall, when I seen it, I was like, ah, why are we going tight end this early? But then I'm thinking, like, he's the second best tight end. So this could be our future franchise tight end. And this is a deep O-line class. This is a deep guard class, a deep tackle class, and a deep center class. And this is why this risk is going to turn into a reward. Because next round, we went into the third round and got a guy the name of Kendrick Green. Man... I didn't know nothing, nothing about this guy when we drafted him, but when I was looking up stuff, man, this guy's a dog, bro. He was throwing people left and right. He was he, he was just moving people out of the way. This man bench pressed 700 pounds, bro. He bench pressed 700 pounds. Like, he a dog, bro. I believe he played, I think it said he played 1,500, or no, not 1,500. It was something like that. It was like 1,055 snaps, and he only allowed four sacks. Like, He's a dog. I never heard of this man, Kendrick Green. What a, like, boy, that boy was a dog, man. Uh, yeah, I was like, wow. Like, wow, we really got a talent like that in the third round? So that's why that second round pick, you know what I'm saying, could easily, you know what I'm saying, turn into, like, a risk that could turn into a reward easily. With the Steelers' fourth round pick, we picked Dan Moore Jr. This is a guy that, that I did some scouting on. Um, I'm very impressed with him, you know. He's a pretty good offensive tackle, so hopefully he'll help improve our line. Uh, but for the most part, I didn't look at him too much, but I did see him out there. He played for Texas A&M. Uh, I think Dan Moore could easily, you know, fit into our to our offensive line scheme and just bring the power that we need, bring the blocking that we need. Um, I believe he's a great, he's a great um, pass blocker. 
So hopefully he can protect Ben. And uh, shout out to Ben Moore. He here, man. I'm excited about all these guys, man. A lot of people said we drafted bad, but... You know, when do the Steelers ever go after the best available? We really don't do that on occasion. Unless it's, like, a guy that, like, everyone likes and we know we got to get, like, Devin Bush. When we trade up for Devin Bush, we know we had to go get him. Najee Harris, you know you got to go get him. It's certain talents. But when does the Steelers ever, you know, just pick best available? It always, for the most part, works. We never really go after the best available or especially a talent if we don't need them in that area. You know what I'm saying? So, that's it. That is what it is. Fourth round. Went in there and got damn more. Welcome to Pittsburgh, damn more. I'm excited for you too, man. Now, with our second fourth round pick, we got Buddy Johnson. Um, don't know too much about Buddy Johnson, but a lot of people were saying this was a steal. A lot of people were saying he's going to come off the edge and go crazy behind Alex Highsmith. A lot of people are saying he can also play um, defensive tackle. Right now, he's a defensive end. Uh, he also went to Texas A&M, which is a crazy part. So we got two straight guys out of Texas A&M, um, Dan Moore and Buddy uh, Johnson. We went from Bud Dupree to getting Buddy Johnson. So hopefully this guy can, uh, you know, step in here, come to Pittsburgh, do his part. Um, a lot of people are saying that this was a steal. So, yeah, shout out to Buddy Johnson, man. Um As for our next pick, we traded up, actually. We got into the fifth round, and we picked a guy, Isaiah Loudermilk. Now, I'm going to be real. I have no idea who this guy is. Um, I'm not going to sit here and act like I know who he is. I'm not going to say too much about him. He's just going to have to prove to me what he can do on the field because I didn't scout this guy. Uh, yeah, so that's all I can say about Isaiah Loudermilk. I mean, I'm glad that you're here. You're a Pittsburgh sailor, hopefully. Um, you can grow your name with me because as long as you're good on that field, you fight with me, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's all I can say about Isaiah Lauderman. I don't know too much about you, but you're a Pittsburgh Steeler now. I'm going to welcome you in. Now, with our sixth pick in the draft, man, this was a steal. This was a big steal. Quinty Roche. Woo! Boy, when I was like, when we pick him, man. When it said when it said the Steelers picked Quincy Roche, I was like, oh, he dropped he dropped like that. No way he dropped like that. I believe he led the uh, the SEC in sacks, if I'm not mistaken. Like, bruh, come on, oh my God, bro. I was excited about this pick because I know who he is. I know who Quincy Roche is, bro. Like, he has a chance to be so good on this Pittsburgh Steelers team. I feel like he would he fits our defense perfectly. Like, I feel like this guy can easily come in easily make plays step up like i was so hyped when we got quincy roche he dropped like like bad like tremendously um so i know he gonna come in pittsburgh um he got that hard hitting ability he's everywhere all over the field he's a fast guy you know so shout out to quincy roche proud of that pick from the steelers proud of most of these picks from the steelers um moving on to our next pick i believe we picked up trey norwood now, Trey Norwood, this is a guy, um, you know, I believe he had 12 picks. I think he led the NCAA in picks, if I'm not mistaken. So that's a good sign. But to me, he's like an up-and-down player. Um, and we also moved him to safety because we didn't, uh, we declined Terrell Edmonds' fifth-year option. So I believe probably Terrell Evans probably going to have to fight for that spot. You know Trey Norwood's a rookie. He's hungry. He's coming. Um, for the most part, I don't have no bad no bad um, results about Trey Norwood. You know, I uh, led led the uh, NCAA in twelve picks with twelve picks. You know, so hopefully he can come here, get some more picks for us. Um, and yeah, that's all I got to say about him. And for our final pick, we drafted a punter. Now, I was surprised about this because there was a lot of guys on that board. Like, Dylan Moses was there, but I, I see why people didn't... I see why Dylan Moses went undrafted. I didn't expect him to, but I see why he went undrafted. A lot of injuries. But we picked a punter, and my instant thought was, Jordan Barry, count your days, man, because you out of here, bro. Uh, I'm not going to say I enjoyed your time while you was here, but you was here, and you made the best of it, so... You was better than Dustin Colquitt. I can't believe we tried to kick you off of Dustin Colquitt, and he came here and did awful. But, Jordan Berry, I think you need to count your days, man. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know, bro. It might be over for you, cause apparently he's the best punter in the league. I mean, the league. He was uh the best punter in college. He got the award for it, best punter award. Um, hopefully he can come in here. He can boot them punts, put teams in tough situations so our defense can go out there. Excuse me. Try to get safeties. Try to hold them. You know, to their side of the field. And yeah, man. But for the most part, this draft was pretty great, bro. Wasn't expecting a punter with our last pick. Um, don't know the guy Isaiah Louder milk too much, but you know we're gonna get to know him. Hype about the Quincy Roche pickup. Trey Norwood, I'm up and down about it. We're gonna see what he can do. Obviously, I'm not even gonna talk about Najee Harris. I think Najee Harris is gonna be a great running back. Uh, who else we got? Uh, Dan Moore, who I scouted just a little bit. You know, hopefully he can come in here. Be a good offensive tackle for us. My guy, Kendrick Green. If I had to choose a pick, like, besides Najee Harris, because obviously that's, like, the obvious answer. If I had to choose a pick besides Najee Harris, I'm going to go out and say my favorite pick was Kendrick Green. I think he's going to be our franchise center. He wears the same number as Marquise Pouncey, too. I just think he's a hard-nosed center. He's going to be our franchise center, you know. Shout-out to Pat Fryer move, too. That was a, like, when it first happened, I was like, wow, we went tight in this early. We didn't have to go tight in that early. But if you got the second best tight end up there in Pratt Fryer move, and you know Eric Eric Ebron, he may not be here for long, or he, he he's just getting up there in age too. He's already like 28. Um, you know, yeah, like why not? Why not go get Pratt Fryer move? And our offense looks nasty this year. Like Ben has a lot of people to throw to. He can throw to Juju, Deontay, um, Chase Claypool, who I hope develops into a into a great receiver this year ebron uh, hopefully he can start catching the ball and stay on twitter i made a video about him pat fire move um the rookie you know like who else we got james washington this is his contract here i hope we bring him back actually i would love to see james washington back in the bird uh Najee harris who's a great uh catching running back benny snell you know ben has options this year our offense looks nasty i gotta see our defense on the field um, Devin Bush will be coming back. You know, we lost Bud. We lost Mike. Um, we lost Steve Nelson. As for the cornerback situation, we did um, pick up some undrafted free agents. I don't have the names of list, uh, the list of names with me right now. So we're going to save that for another video. But to me, this is a great draft. I would give the Steelers an A- minus on this draft just for going out and getting Najee Harris and um, Pat Fryermuth. Those are two big pickups for us. And then we got a guy, Kendrick Green, who's a solid center. He gonna go right at you. He don't care. He gonna protect his quarterback. He gonna protect his running back. Got Dan Moore, Quincy Roche, Trey Norwood, you know Isaiah Loudermilk and all that. But hey, I think we had a great draft. Now we just waiting for the season, man. I, I'm excited, bro. I can't wait to give y'all this content during the season. And y'all already know whatever news, whatever big news break, y'all know I'll be right back here. Um, so yeah, until next time, bro.